Hi, my name is Derek Crowley, and today we're going to go over some of the techniques of the Thai Kenpo sets with the Kenpo Man product designed by Grandmaster David German. Now I'm going to be assisted by Mr. Bill Hallett, who is going to help us out with some of the uh, applications on a person as well as on the Kenpo Man. We're also going to work on some of the extensions. So we're going to do the uh, beginner sets, we're going to do the intermediate sets, and the advanced sets, both on the Kenpo Man and on a person. So let's get started. So the first technique we're going to work on will be the dagger set codes. Now we say codes because in Thai Kenpo, we're working on this to develop a code, a, a rhythmical pattern. And the objective of that is we're going to take that rhythmical pattern, that, that, that sentence, if you will, that song, and we're going to start off with how to beat up this thing. Then we're going to work on how can we fit different techniques into that code. How, how can we take different styles and blend them and merge them in? And so we're going to work on that a bit more as you progress. Right now we're going to focus mostly on learning the code itself. And so the first one we're going to do is a technique called a uh, uh, thrusting fist, or thrusting dagger, actually. And it goes like this. All we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, kick. Simple enough. One thing you notice about this, the great thing about this Kenpo Man thing, is this is one of the best devices I've ever seen to build hand speed. And so if you hit it here, it comes back and hits you, unless you check it or get out of the way. So we're going to go one, two, five, and kick. So that's the beginner's version of that. Now let's pop up to the intermediate version of a technique called Thunder Fist. Let's pull this thing back over here. And so Thunder Fist goes like this. We're going to do the initial block and chop. So we're going to go block, chop. Now from here, this is going to represent the other guy's hand. And we're going to thrust it over there. So we're checking his shoulders. We're going to go one, two, three. This is going to flop up into an elbow here. Now you notice how with the elbow, this hand's up here checking. You always have a hand checking your center line. So if we go one, two, three, and kick, so we go from block, chop, strike, elbow, check, hit, kick would be the whole set of Thunder Fist. And we can cover out over to here. So now, let's look at that on a person. So uh, Bill, if I could borrow you, please, sir. I'm gonna come over here and face me about. Let's and so this is uh, designed predominantly for a punch. Now, on the Kempo Man sets, just for the sake of consistency, we're going to do all these for punches. I'd like you to understand that these codes are designed for memorization of sequential patterns. And so the objective is not necessarily with these to memorize techniques against a thousand different techniques. We'll take the bad guy's attacker and we'll adapt it to fit into whatever code you want. It really doesn't make any difference. But for simplicity's sake, right now we're going to work on it with just a, a right hand punch. So he's going to, he's going to punch right there. Bonk. Good. And so uh, as he punches, the first thing I do, whack, is we're going to sidestep and hit here. I'm going to hit midway between his forearm. Whack, bam, and the next thing goes and hits here. Now, what if he doesn't punch? Boom, this is going to fire off into his face like this, and this goes whack, pop, pow, and there's the kick there. What if we have a one-two combination? So if we go punch, one-two, bam, this goes whack over to here, and we're checking the arm at the shoulder. Now from here we're going to feed in, bam, straight into the elbow, check, hit, and there's the kick between the legs there. We're going to cover out. The reason you cover out is this thing right here like this, is you're just stepping back to make sure you're done beating on the bad guy. And so uh, it's also possible there could be other attackers. We just want to make sure that uh, he's finished. And so now, what if we take this, this set? which we can do an infinite variety of things of this dagger set, this Thunder Fist technique. And let's bop it up to the advanced version of it uh, in a technique called Three Thunders. And the idea of this is that we're going to take the dagger set code and then work on the Thunder Fist technique with it. And we're going to add on about three Chinna techniques. Now Chinna, C-H-I-N-A, means to seize and control. The idea of it is that you're seizing and controlling somebody's body, but you're also seizing and controlling somebody's energy in their body. You're even trying to seize and control their spirit, so to speak, meaning you want to demoralize them. It's the basic idea of it. But so if we start here where he punches and we've got wham, pow, 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 and we kick to there, one, two, three, four, hit, check, and kick. What if we've got a grab in here somewhere? So what if as we go one, two, this hand comes and we check it over here, whack, pow, hit to here, and back fist, what if I keep this arm? Blam, scoop, and now we've got an inside arm bar. Now, if you look at this, a couple important things are going to happen. One is that I'm going to use my knuckles here 
to dig in. Let me just use this arm because it's closer over here. To dig in about an inch over his elbow right there. Now I can pull it like this with my hand open. And if I just pull straight, don't let me do it. If I just pull straight, it doesn't work that great. Mm -hmm. But if I do here and I roll it up a little bit, see I just make some jerk a little? Mm -hmm. And that gives me an instant of distraction. And so all we're doing here is boop and roll down. Next thing I want you to notice is that we're going to go in a circle with it. Everything works in circles. Don't think of things in straight lines. So if we go from one, whack, schmack, pow, hit, check, hit, kick, grab, pull. Now from right here, we're going to take his arm, roll it up. Let's turn this way a little bit. We're going to roll it up here, bend it around this way to where I've got a come along. Now I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to bring it up under his nose. And here is our next technique here like this. You know it's working if he goes up on his toes like that. Isn't that great? So that's our next technique. So next thing from here, we've got, he punches, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, kick, turn, arm bar, turn, roll, come along, scoop under to here, grab this arm, and we're going to just call it a drag. And so I'm going to pull his arm, I'm going to turn this way so you can see a bit better. Pull his arm, wham, onto the ground to there. Now, we may in reality finish up with some kind of a kick or something after that. But the idea is that we're going to take these three locks and just stick them onto the end of the handset. We're not really, in my opinion, we're not really choreographing it yet. We're building it for memorization. And so let's do it one last time. So if we go one, two, three, four, check, hit, kick, turn, lock to here, roll, come along to here, pull this out, shoot through to here, and drag to here, thank you. That would be our entire first set. Uh, and, our, and our dagger sets up to black belt, and then that black belt will add on more stuff, of course. So, thank you, Bill. And so now we're going to do our dagger sets from a reverse angle, just so you can get a better view of them. We're going to start off, again, with just uh, our first one. Block, chop, kick. Not complicated. Let's go ahead and go into Thunder Fist here. So we're going to go one, two. Now from here we're going to check, elbow, elbow check, and back fist. You notice the back fist that takes place while you're fading away for the kick. And so if we go for one, two, three, four, that would be our thunder fist technique on the Kenpo man. So let's push that over here. A little more maybe. And let's ask Bill to come back over here and uh, see if we can figure this technique out. So, so he's going to we'll do our little bow thing first. And so he's going to punch here. We're going to start. Blam, we're going to hit here like this. Whack, whap, and this is going to fire off here. Now from here he tries to punch with the backhand. Blam, and we're going to hit here on his shoulder. Blam, pow. Elbow goes in, check it. This is going to fold over to, I'm not really going to hit you, Bill. <laughs> this folds over to here, blam, and that lifts between the legs, and we leave. Uh, you know that sometimes I like to leave my hand down here because sometimes just for fun I like to add on to the end of it. This where we go one, two, three, four, five, six, kick, and lift with the ridge hand here where you flick at the end and roll into other sets. But let's add on our chin sets onto here. So if he punches and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, kick to here, we slip into here. Now we're actually going to grab this arm beforehand. The trick to getting adding the chin sets onto the end of, a, end of a handset is you do it a move or two ahead at least. And so if we go from one, two, we've got contact here. Three, still have contact. Four, still have contact. Five. So I've maintained this arm the whole time. And this just rolls in like magic. Then we have our little folds and our come along to here and our slip and our drag. And that's our whole hand set there. So thank you very much, sir.